Good morning, everyone. Again, I am Teacher Chris, and today we are going to learn another lesson. Okay, but before that, we are going to have some review first about what we learned last time. So last time, we learned about intransitive verbs. Okay, so we know that intransitive verbs is a verb that is uh, doing a command or a bossy verbs. And then we also learned that you can find intransitive verbs at the beginning of your sentences. Okay, so today we are going to learn about personal pronouns. Okay, so last, last week we learned about nouns. Okay, so these pronouns is correlated with your nouns. So we will find out that one later. So what is a personal pronoun? Okay. So personal pronouns are pronouns that are associated primarily with a particular grammatical person, first person, second person, or third person. Personal pronouns may also take different forms depending on number, grammatical, or natural gender. Case of the noun, it replaces an formality. So later, I am going to discuss to you one by one. Okay, so this one. So examples are I, you, he, she, it, we, they, me, him, her, us, and them. Okay? So these are the, uh, the examples of your personal pronouns. So later, when we go on in our discussions, you will know the different kinds of pronouns. So not just personal pronouns, but there are so many kinds of pronouns. Okay. So first, he. So he, if you are talking with a gender. Gender means if it is a boy or a girl. So he is for a boy. So you will use the pronoun he if you are talking to a boy. Number, how many boy? Only one. Okay, so we need to say if it is a singular. Okay, so you will use he, singular or one person, which is a boy. Next, she. Okay, again, she, when you are talking also to one girl. Okay, next, it. So it, it uses when you are talking about things or animals. And then if that thing is only one or singular. He, she, it uses or used in a singular form of your noun. So he, she, and it is your personal pronoun, but singular ones. Next. Okay. You and I. You talking to the second person, not you. I means you, yourself, okay? You, you are pointing to someone else, okay? So you and I is also a personal pronoun. Next, they, we, they, we need to say they, they only. You are not including yourself, okay? They, we need to say plural or mainly. You cannot say they if it is only one or singular, but they uses if the person or the subjects are plural or many. When we say plural, many. When we say singular, only one. Okay, next, we. You are including yourself now. We and your friends. So you are with that group of people. So we. So, they and we are also 
pronoun or personal pronoun. Okay, now, let's have some activity. So, let's see if you can answer this one. Okay, select the correct personal pronoun. This one, two girls. He, she, or they. So, how many girls? All right, very good. There are two girls. So he and she, we're just using this one if your subject is only singular. But they, if you are talking to two or more people. Okay, so what is the correct answer? Very good. Okay, so they. They, it's because you are not including yourself with these people. Okay, next. Oh, this one. Yes, it's a boy. He, she, or it. Correct. He. Okay, very good. He, it's because this is a boy and the boy is only one or singular. Okay, next, banana. How many banana? Okay, very good. It is only one. So, he, it, or they. All right, very good. It. Okay, it, it's because it is only one banana. Next. Oh, girl. What do you think is the answer? Okay, girl is only one. Therefore, we are going to use singular personal pronoun. So we only have two here. She and he. Okay, very good. So we will use she. It's because it is a girl or she is a girl. Okay, this one. Group of people, but you are not including yourself. Okay, so we are going to use the personal pronoun they. Okay, they, because they are a group of people and you are not belong with this group of people. Okay, next. Chairs. Chairs. How many chairs? How many chairs? All right, there are four chairs. So, if it is many, yes, we are going to use the personal pronoun, which is plural. He and it, they are a singular personal pronoun. So, they. They are chairs. Okay, monkey. So how many monkeys? Yes, there are two monkeys. So therefore, what personal pronoun are we going to use? He, it, or they? Very good. So we are going to use they. They are monkeys. Next, girl. Okay. So we are going to use the personal pronoun, she. She is a girl. Next. Boy. Okay. He, she, or it. Okay, very good. He. He is a boy. Next. Oh, what is this? Is it a grapes? Ah, strawberry, I think. Okay. It's a fruit. <laughs> okay, so he, she, or it. Very good. It, it is a fruit. Next. Elephant. Okay, how many elephant? Yes, we only have one elephant here. So therefore, we are going to use the it. It is an elephant. Okay. Next, mm -hmm. group of people, but you are not including yourself with them. So therefore, we are going to use that personal pronoun. They, they are boys. Okay, because there are, they are a boys. So, they. Next, you are pointing yourself. So what's the answer? Okay, very good. I. 
I means you are pointing yourself. Next. You are pointing to other person. Okay. Very good. You. You. Next. Oh, now you are including yourself with a group. So we are going to use the personal pronoun, we. So always remember the difference between they and we. So you are going to use only they if you are talking to the group of people, which is you are not including yourself. But if you are going to use we, you are in that group of people and you belong in that group. Okay, so you are talking yourself and the other group of people. So we. Okay, so now it's time for you to do your practice activity. So in your practice activity, there are a direction there. So put a circle around all the pronouns in this box. Underline. Okay. Circle. You need to circle the pronouns and underline all of the nouns. So in this box, there are many words. So this box composed of nouns and pronouns. Now what you are going to do, so I give you some example here already. So you have the me. Okay. So you have the me. So what you are going to do is, me is a pronoun, so therefore, you are going to circle the me. And then all the pronouns, all the pronouns, circle all the pronouns and underline. When you see underline, like this one, underline. Underline all the nouns, okay? After this one, you do also this. Okay, so but you have already the example here. So it is very easy for you to answer this activity. Okay, so if you have any questions, you can message me in the line. Okay, so that's all for today. And I hope you understand well with our lesson for today. Okay, see you again next time.